Hey guys, Mike from BlindsOnline.com and uh, I'm here to tell you a little bit on how to measure for your zebra shades. Uh, zebra shades can be mounted two ways, either inside the window frame or outside the window frame. Now the zebra shade is a very unique product in such that the way it's manufactured, um, the headrail, which is your top portion of the shade, we call this the headrail, is always going to be one and one half inches wider than your fabric width. Okay. That being said, when you mount this inside the window, you're going to have about a three-quarter inch gap from the side wall of your window to the shade. Okay, that's not a mistake. That's just inherent in the product. Now, typically, the window frame or your you know the window frame on the window will cover that portion. But if something like that is going to bother you, then we would suggest mounting this outside the frame. Okay. So that being said, let me show you how to measure for this product and you can make the decision from there. And of course, any questions, you can always call us. Now, if you're going to mount inside the frame, we're going to use a bare minimum of one inch of mounting depth. Depth to the windows from the front of the casing back to the window. Here we have about three inches, so we have plenty of room. One inch is just enough to mount the product. If you want to completely recess the top rail, and you'll notice that top rail is pretty wide, you're going to need three and one half inches of window depth. Okay, so that's something very important. Anything less than the three and a half, and this will protrude out of the frame a bit, depending upon how deep your window is. Okay, now for the width on an inside mount, we're going to ask you to take three measurements. The width at the very top, the center, and the bottom. So we're going to take the tape measure at the top. We're going to get a measurement of 23 in the center, 23 in an eighth at the bottom 23. So the window is a little skewed, it's a little bowed. Of those three measurements, we'd like you to supply us with the smallest of those three rounded to the nearest one-eighth of an inch. So in this case, we're going to take the 23 inch width at the top, uh, being that's the, the smallest width. Uh, we also would like you to take the height measurement. The height measurement is going to be in three places on the right, 35 and a half, the center, 35 three quarters, and the left, 35 and a half. Uh, here I'd like to take the longest of the three, in which case that's the 35 and three quarters, which will allow your shade to come all the way down and touch the windowsill should you want it to come that low. Um, now that's your inside mount. You're going to give us the smallest width, the longest height, and of course a bare minimum of one inch of mounting depth. Okay, and now here are the instructions on how to measure for an outside mount shade. Okay, uh, it, outside mount is a little bit tricky because of the way the shade uh, is situated, you know, as far as the fabric being less than the headrail. Now, if we were to mount this directly to the window molding, and let's say we order the shade, the width of the molding in this case, which is around, let's call it 28 inches, just to use round numbers. Okay, 28 inches mean that the headrail will be cut 28 inches wide so that this rail will align with the width of the molding. Now, what happens in your, this case is that the shade cloth will come down and leave about a three-quarter of an inch reveal because the cloth is cut less than the shade, than the width of the molding, I'm sorry. Now, if you want your shade cloth to go full width from molding edge to molding edge, you will need to add one and one-half inches to the width of your molding to molding measurement. Okay, so again, we measured molding to molding, we came up with 28. If we ordered at 28, that'll be the size of your headrail, and your fabric will be cut three quarters of an inch less on each side. For the height, we want you to measure from the very top of the molding to where you want the shade to hang to. Okay, now if you have a window sill, that would be to the window sill. Okay, so top of the molding, let's pretend this had a sill. Uh, that protruded here, okay? We would want the shade to stop at 38. In this case, there is no window sill, so I'd like the shade to come down maybe an inch or so below the bottom molding. So my height measurement in this case would be 41 inches. Now that's incorporating the fact that this is getting mounted to the top molding. If there is no molding, then I'd like you to add four inches to the window opening for the top of the, so we mount this shade directly to the wall. Okay, so if your opening size, let's put this down, if your opening size is 36 and we want the shade to stop at 36, we would add an additional 4 inches so we can mount that shade to the wall, which would make your shade 40. For this, if we wanted the shade to come down past the molding, then we would want the shade to measure 43. Again, allowing 
four inches of space on the wall to mount the headrail. Okay, so that explains uh, pretty much how to measure and how to mount your outside mount shape. If you don't have any molding width-wise, okay, the easiest way I can tell you would be to measure the inside dimension, which is 23 and add four inches to it. That means we're going to make the shade 27 inches wide, and it's going to give you just over an inch overlap past the opening on each side with the fabric. Okay, so if you don't have window molding, measure your inside width, add four. That's the quick and easy way. If you're unsure, please give me a call. My name is Mike at blindsonline.com. We'll be happy to guide you through it. Okay, any questions, again, give us a ring. Thanks.